These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. And ABC 15 is staying on top of historic findings from the Department of Justice. In a 126-page report, the DOJ accusing Phoenix police of violating citizen civil rights using excessive force, including allegations of racial dis discrimination, unlawful treatment of people experiencing homelessness, and more. ABC 15 also speaking to the head of the Phoenix Police Union, who called this investigation a, quote, farce. Union officials say the investigation focused solely on individual incidents, adding the department has already put some major reforms into place. ABC 15 on Border Watch now more than a week after President Joe Biden's border order went into effect. We've confirmed with Scripps News Tucson that deportations are ramping up in Nogales. On Thursday, five buses full of migrants crossed back through the Deacon City port of entry last week. The Tucson sector chief reported more than 7,000 apprehensions. As for the order, a legal battle is underway. The ACLU has filed a lawsuit. ABC 15 will continue to monitor any developments on the case, but the order remains in effect for now. Turning now to an Operation Safe Roads report, tracking a major recall tied to those self-driving cars you see on the road in the valley. Waymo says it has recalled 700 of its driverless cars because there's a problem accurately recognizing certain hazards when there isn't a road, road shoulder. We saw that in Phoenix last month when a Waymo car hit a utility pole in an alley. No one was hurt, but the car was damaged. Waymo says the cars will need a software update to fix the problem. Happy Father's Day weekend. What better way to celebrate dad than America's pastime? A day at the ballpark. The Arizona Diamondbacks are hosting the Chicago White Sox for a weekend series at Chase Field. And on Sunday's game, the first 15,000 fans will get a free Father's Day polo. Uh, we also have a special package. It's a VIP ticket package here at the ballpark where you get to play catch on the field. You get great tickets. On top of that, you also get the shirt and you get a special D-backs cap. So a lot going on. Gentlemen, start your engines. Firebird Motorsports Park in Chandler is hosting Midnight Madness this weekend, where you can bring your own car or truck to test its speed on a world-class drag strip. Gates open Saturday at 7.30 p.m., $20 for admission, and $45 to drag race your car. Less than what you would spend at the movies for two people, you can come out here and you can run down the drag strip and you can get to see what your car can do. With just a sprinkle of pixie dust, we're taking flight into the world of Neverland as Peter Pan the Musical makes its way to ASU Gamage in Tempe. Enjoy shows Friday through Sunday with tickets starting around 20 bucks. Roll Dolls Willy Wonka is being performed all weekend long at the Herberger Theater Center by Valley Youth Theater. Enjoy the delicious adventure of Charlie Bucket on his visit to Willy Wonka's mysterious and fantastical chocolate factory. Tickets start around 20 bucks. Celebrate the 35th anniversary of the iconic DC superhero film Batman live in concert. Watch the film accompanied by a live orchestra at Phoenix Symphony Hall on Friday night at 8 o'clock. Tickets start at 34 bucks. The Lavender Festival kicks off Saturday from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. in Wilcox. Learn about lavender, sample all types of products, enjoy local artisans with plenty of beer and wine tastings available. Admission starts at $6. If you're looking for other Father's Day deals, discounts, and events, visit our website at abc15.com slash things to do. Reporting in Phoenix, Zach Perry, ABC 15 Arizona. Happy Friday. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. A reminder, an excessive heat warning for the Valley and Central Arizona has been extended all the way out through Sunday night now. And for Southern Arizona, we'll be right back under that heat warning once again starting this weekend as temperatures trend back up. Now today looks to, to stay just shy of 110, but we're going to see a lot less cloud cover today than we did yesterday. 109 for a high in Phoenix. That storm system that brought the clouds and some sprinkles yesterday will slowly clear out. A chance for showers and storms still through the morning in North Northern and Northeast Arizona as high as there reach the 80s to 90s today. The weekend brings even hotter conditions as high pressure builds back in. Highs between 112 and 113 on Saturday and Sunday running nearly 10 degrees above normal and ending up just a few degrees shy of the record. The record high on both Saturday and Sunday sits at 115 degrees both days set back in 2021. Winds will pick up Sunday and Monday. Temperatures drop a bit next week and then we heat up again next Thursday. We will have another update for you tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at ABC15.com or download the free ABC15 mobile app.
These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.